All right, so I have those two Western Diamondbacks that I just caught um, in that rat trap. And the uh, gentleman that owned the house, we had uh, helped him out before with some, some snakes and they were, it was in the rat trap again. So these ones, let me show you. A couple of males here, one of them was shedding its skin. So a lot of times they'll sit and hunt at those things or sit there, but in this case, they're actually living there. And I also have a third rattlesnake in here too that I've been trying to figure out what to do with this, this other one here. It's a female. I caught it yesterday a little bit further away from here than I would normally release it at. You can see her tail right there, how it's kind of shorter, shape of her body right there. That tells me it's a female. Um, I can't release her to where I would prefer to release her because that whole area is completely gone. She was at a house next to a rubble pile and they're putting another house there and uh, there was just no habitat around there. It was just city. So in this case, I'm forced to put her somewhere else. And I'm going to put her along with these other rattlesnakes into this really nice crevice here. It's a really nice pile of rocks. Um, I'm sure snakes use this. They'd be dumb not to. <laughs> it's a really good place. So I need to make sure these guys get into that crevice. So I'm going to pull it out just a little bit. It's warm enough now to wear, even though it's kind of a cooler day. You really got to make sure that they get into cover. Oh, I'm sorry, that wasn't very graceful. Okay, he's going the wrong way. I want him to go up into that crevice. I'm just going to kind of steer him. There we go. That's a nice deep area too. He can get in there and stay nice and cool. Okay, there's the female right here. Plenty of room in there. And then here's the other male that's shedding his skin right now. You can tell partly because it has those white over its eyes, the caps. Um, and there's some a little bit of truth to when people say that they're a little bit more potentially dangerous in these situations because they can't see very well. That might be true. They might be a little bit kind of grumpy-ish, but really you don't really come across this situation very well. When they're shedding their skin, they're hiding. So unless you're interacting with them, again, it's not a problem. It's one of those situations that it's not something that you could really need to worry about. Okay, let me see if I can get him out of the bucket. There we go. And I went to crawl up. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way again. It's too warm out here, dude. You gotta go up the other way. We'll try it again. Oh, come here, I'm sorry. Don't wanna hold on to the bucket. There we go. Alright. See that big thick tail that gets actually wider after the cloaca? And actually it's kinda of interesting because you can see how uh well it's gone now, <laughs> but the rattle had uh only a handful of segments, and um, they were still uh, getting much larger at a pretty good clip, each, each segment being larger than the last, and that was already a pretty good-sized adult Western Diamondback, so that snake is going to get pretty big. Anyway, um, I have a long-nosed snake I have to go release now from yesterday, and I'm going to go do that, but it's it's been getting pretty busy. As soon as it starts getting 100 degrees um, in the day, then we're going to get more and more calls um, at night. So, looking forward to that. Weird weather here today. All right, I'll see you.